this may be difficult as well for me, Mr. Mr. Chair and members of the committee, because I too have lost a loved one. And I know what it's like to feel grief every day of your life. A pain that will never go away. And only God and your faith in God Almighty will get you through it. And it has sustained me. I didn't, for the first three months after my brother was killed, I didn't know if I was going to, to make it or not. I really didn't know. I don't know how I got through each day. But I want to give you a little history about this bill and the law that, that created it some years back. The bill uh, created uh, 32384, which I believe is the al alternative to safety chains. And it provided state police the authority to look at devices that were manufactured that would uh, take or supplant the use of safety chains uh, when towing a trailer. At first I was skeptical, but as I began to look at what was being presented and uh, the rules that we promulgated to make sure that the, the device itself was actually better than the use of the chains, I too became a believer. And I can tell you from not only experience, but what I've observed and going through this process, being a pioneer in this process, the one that actually wrote and promulgated the rules for this, uh, that uh, uh, what we have here in Louisiana and what, sta what the Louisiana State Police has already approved for use in, uh, in, 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 to supplant safety chains is far superior, far superior to the use of safety chains. It will keep that towed vehicle attached to the, to the vehicle that uh, is actually towing a trailer. It, w it will not come undone. And if it can, and if this committee if it saves one life, if it saves one life where that person doesn't have to feel the agony of these, these families that come up here today and the pain that I certainly have felt, then this bill is worth it. Was your brother killed in a similar type of accident, Major? No, sir. My brother, unlike me, was um, was a self-made millionaire at 37. Uh, he bought an airplane to to check his businesses from. Uh, he was also a car dealer to check his businesses from Texas to Georgia, and the plane stalled coming into a, the Texarkana airport, and uh, he came down on his side, and, and he was killed instantly. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. Prior, would just yes, if, you, if it was the same type, I was going to ask you the same question. But yes, others, what the circumstances yes, were as far as But the reality of death and the reality of, of, of the death of a loved one, regardless of how they leave this world, is until you've experienced, you will not know yeah. the pain. Major White, we have a we have a handout. This this not from state police. It's from DOTD. And it's 2005 through 2009, and maybe DOTD note can interpret it, but I'm assuming, and maybe you know, uh, Representative Monica, is this the number of a vehicle tow trailer separation yeah. we have annually? And that's yeah, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Do we do we know how many of those were Louisiana vehicles, and how many of them were out of state vehicles? All we know that's the one that take place in Louisiana. I'm not sure if it's registered out of state or not. Okay. Senator Adley? I, I want to understand how the new device works is what I'm interested in. It, as, as I understand it, that I, I want to hold this picture a minute because I'm... The, the, the legislation, you, you talked to me yesterday, so it, it's prospective, is that what you, as I understand it, 
right. or does it require us to go back to all trailers to tell me exactly what it does? Gen January 1st, 2012, any trailer sold or manufactured in Louisiana is required to have that device. You know, sadly we have over 600,000 trailers registered in Louisiana. There's no way uh, we can get this bill out requiring and making it retroactive. You know, so over time we'll have trailers. And any, any trailer registered before January 1st, 2012, unfortunately the safety chains is, is going to be permissible. What I'm trying to figure out is, is that I understand, yeah, I think the legislation would relate to this piece, the, the trailer. It appears to me that, that all of this is also new equipment that would be required on your vehicle. That's correct. Uh, I assume we don't require that because you simply will have to have it. Tell, tell me about the availability of that. I, I, I want to make sure, I, I'm not opposed to what you want to do, but I do want to make sure that I'm not just passing something that supports an individual company or something like that. Tell me about the availability of being able to get that and talk to me a minute about normally the way it works. At least I told you, I think yesterday, I think I got five, six trailers uh, and my hitch slides in and out and I replace it with that little flag or whatever so I don't have that ball sticking out. Once we've done this, uh, I assume in the future we'll have to remove all of, all of this bracket that's bolted on, or do you know if I'm trying to figure out how 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 is this going to work for the guy that buys it, and how, how does it work? Well, the state police is going to promulgate the rules, which they did, and if this bill passed, it'll be the first uh, state in, in the country that's going to require this device. And so I'm sure uh, with, with the market and demand, you have other companies come forward to. Are there other companies that do the other that have more than one? That's what I need to know. There are three similar devices uh, as that one. But that's the only one that is approved to be used in Louisiana. And you're correct. You will have to, uh, there are seven models. You know, there's some that go to the three holes on, on your bumper now with a plate underneath the, the first gun. Uh, you know, and, you know, change is always tough. But it's going to require uh, retrofitting some some existing bumpers, but we have some very smart people that's going to figure it out. And th this device is patented today. There are some in use with the Department of Transportation, the Corps of Engineers bought the device, they're using it. We have letters, uh, they would recommend it to anyone. You know, the general public can buy it today and put it in a vehicle. You know, uh, you hate to use the word mandatory, but once it becomes mandatory, it will get attention and it will be mass produced. Uh, currently, if you can, if you have a three-hole bumper, it's about a four million dollar uh, cost. Without that, with, with you know with mass production, it would be about a, a one hundred dollar uh, device. And what price do you put on a life? Uh, if if you, I've seen, if you go on YouTube, it, it's on demonstrated that it's you know if it comes detached, it's going to stay behind a vehicle. You know. When a trailer that has chains come detached, we call the accident is the trailer will actually make the truck. I still hurt. have had one come off. You, you mentioned that yesterday. The chains did hold, but I did have one come off. Now, the damage was done to me mm -hmm. because obviously when it goes off and it's coming at you if the chains hold. <laughs> that, that's the way it works. Right. right. The, the trucks that th th this requirement will be for all vehicles. Uh, not just pickup trucks, cars, and whatnot. It, 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 this, it, well, how does this work as far as commercial uh, construction and so forth? I, I want to uh, the, find out what we're doing in that regard. It, it wouldn't apply to commercial trucks, Senator. Um, like a fifth wheel, 18-wheeler uh, that would back up to a I'm not thinking about the, 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 the contractor that uh, is pulling some kind of heavy equipment, and he's, they generally have pretty good trailers that they use when they do that. I'm trying to figure out how it impacts them. Well, if it's 10,000 pounds or less, or, or more, it won't impact them. I got you. Well, the, original, the original bill was, was uh, the current law is 6,000 pounds. And that would capture the boats, the, the utility trailers, you know, it would...